bring you a three-minute digest of what happened in China's business sector. This is China Business Now by 21st Century Business Herald. Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Lee. Today's top stories. Today marks the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Communist Party of China. A grand celebration gathering was held at the Tiananmen Square in Beijing. Xi Jinping, General Secretary of the CPC Central Committee, Chinese President and Chairman of the Central Ministry Commission, delivered an important speech at the ceremony this morning. Xi summed up the four great successes achieved by the CPC in the past century. The party unites and leads the Chinese people in fighting bloody battles with unyielding determination, achieving great success in the new democratic revolution. The party unites and leads the Chinese people in endeavoring to build a stronger China with a spirit of self-reliance, achieving great success in socialist revolution and construction. The party unites and leads the Chinese people in freeing the mind and forging ahead. Achieving great success in reform, opening up, and socialist modernization, the party unites and leads the Chinese people in pursuing a great struggle, a great project, a great cause, and a great dream through a spirit of self-confidence, self-reliance, and innovation. Achieving great success for socialism with China's characteristics in the new era. Chinese people will never allow any foreign force to bully. Oppress or subjugate us. Anyone who would attempt to do so will find themselves on a collision course with a great wall of steel forged by over 1.4 billion Chinese people. He added, "China will stay true to the letter and spirit of the principle of one country, two systems, under which the people of Hong Kong administer Hong Kong and the people of Macau administer Macau with a high degree of autonomy." President Xi Jinping said on Thursday ceremony. He said the CPC will ensure that the central government exercises overall jurisdiction over Hong Kong and Macau, and implements the legal systems and enforcement mechanisms for the two special administrative regions to safeguard national security. A close-up of industry news: China's central government has delivered a one-off subsidy of 20 billion yuan to crop growing farmers as a measure to offset the loss of income due to price hikes for farming materials, on top of the original 120.5 billion yuan subsidy, according to a statement released by the Ministry of Finance on Wednesday. Sales of new energy vehicles in China are expected to surpass two million units in 2021, thanks to the country's peak emissions and carbon neutrality target," said Shi Jianhua, Deputy Secretary General of the China Association of Automobile Manufacturers. Lawyers for Huawei's chief financial officer on Tuesday presented internal emails from British bank HSBC that they said disproved U.S. claims that Huawei misled the bank. Several Meng Wanzhou's lawyers said at least two senior HSBC leaders were aware of relations between Huawei and Skycom, which Huawei describes as a separate local business partner in Iran. The new terminal for Lhasa Konga International Airport completed construction on Wednesday. The airport is expected to handle an annual capacity of nine million passengers by 2025. Switching gears to the financial sector, Chinese smart electric vehicle maker Xpeng said it would raise 14 billion Hong Kong dollars by pricing its shares on Wednesday at 165 Hong Kong dollars each in a Hong Kong dual primary listing. Xpeng is expected to be listed on Hong Kong Stock Exchange on July the seventh. Chinese ride-hailing giant Didi Chuxing began trading Wednesday on the New York Stock Exchange. Didi started at sixteen point six five U.S. dollars per share on Wednesday, up nearly nineteen percent from its pricing. The stock closed at fourteen point one four U.S. dollars a piece, valuing the company at sixty eight point four nine billion U.S. dollars. China's Asia IPO markets remained active during the first half of 2021, with the number of listings more than doubled compared with the same period last year, according to KPMG. The Asia IPO markets registered 248 deals and 212.7 billion yuan during the first six months, and fund raised from the IPOs in Hong Kong hit a new high of 26 billion U.S. dollars. 
Wrapping up with a quick look at the stock markets. Chinese stocks closed lower on Thursday, but the benchmark Shanghai Composite Index down 0.06% at 3,588 points. The Shenzhen Component Index closed 0.81% lower at 15,038 points. That's it for today. Tune in tomorrow on China Business Now by 21st Century Business Herald. Goodbye.